this is what you've been doing, but just written out as a kind of wordy sentence. I hope you like wordy sentences. All right, the two reactants and two products of this equation here all relate to each other. Oh, a new sentence, not so wordy. The number of moles of one substance can be used to calculate the necessary or produced number of moles of any other substance in the equation. So this is what we mean when we say we can fully analyze chemical equations. Fully analyzing chemical equations, okay? It's being able to understand how many moles are produced or how many moles are necessary if we have another number of moles of another substance in the equation. So you can write that out. Okay, additionally, when fully analyzing chemical equations, when you have a balanced chemical equation like this one, jump down to my next bit of notes here, you can identify the limiting reactant if you have the known amount of reactants. If you know how much HCl you have, and you know how much barium hydroxide you have, you can figure out which one is the limiting reactant. How? Well, the balanced equation tells us that for every two moles of hydrochloric acid, we need one mole of barium hydroxide. So if you know that you have less than two moles of HCl, and you do have one mole of BaOH2, this is gonna be your limiting reactant. The hydrochloric acid is gonna run out first, okay? For every two moles of HCl needed, you need BaOH2 needed. So if you have less than one mole of this, but you have two moles of this, then barium hydroxide is gonna be your limiting reactant. Let's write that down. Make it a little bit more clear. Okay, so we know that for every, let me dry this off a little bit better. Okay, so we know that for every Looking at our equation here, two moles of HCl one mole is needed of barium hydroxide. That is the recipe needed of BaOH2. So that means if we have less than If we have less than two moles of HCl, HCl is the limiting reactant. Or on the flip side of that, if we have at least two moles of HCl, but we have less than one mole of barium hydroxide. Mommy. Oh, special, a helper is coming Mommy. to help me. Just a minute, honey. If we have less, just a second. All right, my special helper has now left the premises so I can continue. If we have less than one mole of BaOH2, that is our limiting reactant. Okay, so basically, and you have to remember the proportion, so what this really means is that you have to have twice as much HCl as you have of your BaOH2. And then whatever one you don't have quite enough of, that's your limiting reactant. Um, I'm going to have you guys read and study example 6.2 and example 6.3 in your book, and my next video 
will be the on your own problems instead, and we will go over the on your own problems together.